find the moment of the ground due to the 200 newton load. In this case, the scalar method is clearly our friend. We just are going to need to know that the moment, the magnitude of the moment, is the magnitude of the force times the perpendicular distance between your point of interest, which in this case is the ground, and the line of action of your force. You can remember that definition, or you can think of sliding the force along its line of action. Remember that you can, by the principle of transmissibility, you can take this 200 newton load and slide it until it is, in fact, perpendicular like that. So then you know that that has to be your D. So your moment is going to be 200 newtons times 6 meters, or 1,200 newton meters. You can also sort of think about it in this way. Would it matter to the spinning of the ground, of the point O, would it matter if 5 were bigger or smaller? If I gave you a, a distance that was only 1 and 6 meters, this would spin just as well. But if instead I kept the 5 meters and I gave you only 1 meter here, clearly this one's not going to spin as well. So it must be the 6 meters that makes the difference.